So now what we're going to do is we are going to create a terrain. Actually, we're going to create two terrains in our side of our scene. We're going to create our inner terrain where we're going to be doing the majority of our work, making our golf course. It's where the ball is going to land, remember? And we're going to create another uh, terrain called outer. You might remember that outer is really just for scenic purposes. Okay, it is the area outside the golf course that the golfer sees. It's just going to make it look more realistic. Remember I said outer is completely optional, but we can add it in here. And if you don't use it, no big deal. We'll delete it. All right, so let's go into Unity. Um, so we have our scene in Unity, and there's nothing in there right now. It's pretty empty. So let's add the first thing into our scene. So in here in our project hierarchy, I'm going to right click 3D object, and I'm going to create a terrain. And you're going to see that that is now just called terrain. Now with this highlighted, I get something over here, what I call the inspector. Everyone calls the inspector, which is our object. In this case, it's called terrain. And then a bunch of attributes down here that we can edit. And this changes depending on which thing you've got selected. So everything has its own inspector and every inspector is somewhat different. But I'm going to highlight the terrain and I'm going to rename this one terrain. And then I'm going to put behind it parentheses enter to let us know that this is our inner terrain. Really important, name yours terrain, space, inner, parentheses, okay? We really want the word terrain in there. That's really important. There are some scripts that are looking for that later on, so just stick to that. Please be detail-oriented and do the same thing that I did here, okay? So we've got that renamed now. Um, I'm going to hit enter, and now you can see that is named terrain enter over here. Now, when we added this terrain over here, another thing that was created was our terrain data. And it ended up, if I click on assets here and I scroll down, it created this new terrain data right here. Well, I'm going to move this. I don't want it here. I'm going to put it in our terrain backup. So if that highlighted, I'm going to drag it over and drag it into terrain backup. Now, if I come down here into terrain backup, there's our new terrain inner, okay, right here. But it's still just called new terrain. So let's rename this. I can right click on it, come up here to rename. And I'm going to call this one Oakmont underscore LIDAR underscore inner. Okay. And now you'll see that if I come over to my train inner here, I come up to my settings cog wheel, our Oakmont LIDAR inner, okay, is our terrain data but it's empty right now. We don't have anything in there. So let's fix that. Well, before we fix that, we have to come up here and we have to enter some information up here. And this information is in our Excel spreadsheet that we created during our LIDAR process. So I have mine open. Mine was in meters, so it looks like this. If yours was in feet, okay, you need to open up that spreadsheet and you need to make sure that you're pulling the data that has been converted to meters for you because we're working in meters in Unity. So the purpose of that spreadsheet, if you did feet, was that it was converting it to meters for you. Okay, so what's the first thing we need? The first thing we need is our terrain size. And for me, my terrain size was right here. It was 1490, okay? So I'm going to enter that number, 1490, in both the inner width of the terrain width here and the terrain length. 1490, 1490. The next thing is our terrain height. That is also calculated by our spreadsheet for us. And you can see right here, my terrain height in meters is 91.117. You, if you're doing it in feet, you need the, the spreadsheet converts it to meters for you. So you need to enter in meters as well. So I'm going to take 91.117, 91.117. And I'm going to enter it there. For the next line, height map resolution, we're going to max this out at 4,097. For detail resolution, 2048. Whoops, 2048, be detail oriented. Next one, control texture resolution, 2048. Base texture resolution, 2048. Okay, now that those are all done, we need to import our data to our terrain here okay so our terrain data 
So we're going to go down here to Import Raw. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to browse. Okay, so this is my project, OPC projects, Oakmont. This is my Unity folder, Assets folder inside my Unity, and then Terrain Backup. So here we are, and now I'm going to grab my inner raw file, open that up, and now I'm going to get this other window here. And I just want to verify everything in here looks correct, okay? The width and height is fine. We're going to leave that at 4,097. Don't touch that. But our terrain size, we want to make sure that this looks right. So 4090 is my terrain size, 91.117 is my height, and my Z, my other side of my terrain, is also 4090. Cool. One last thing, okay? Do not forget we need to flip vertically, okay? Flip vertically. I'm going to hit Import. And when that happens, woo, we have a terrain here. Now, you might have to fly around to find yours. It might be above you or beneath you, and it's hard to see. You can come up here. If it's in shaded, it's even harder to see. But if you click shaded wireframe, it's a little bit easier to see. We're going to change that in a second. But this is our inner terrain at this point. We're not done yet, though. We need to create our outer terrain. So. I'm going to come out here again and I am going to right click and I'm going to do 3D object, terrain, and now we have another terrain created here. Now I'm going to change the name of this one to plot outer, okay? Do not call this one terrain. Okay, call it plot outer. Did I say do not call it terrain? Don't call it terrain. Okay, there's things in the scripts later on that are looking for terrain. But we won't only want it associated with our inner terrain. So we got plot outer at this point. Now, what did that do? Well, that also created a uh, terrain data file in our assets folder. If I scroll down through here, here it is, this new terrain. I'm going to pull this into our terrain backup folder again. Let me go back to my terrain backup, and here's the one we just created. Okay, I'm going to click on this, right click, rename, and I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, yes, we want to rename this to the name of my project, which is Oakmont underscore LIDAR underscore outer. So there we go. So we've got our inner, which we already worked on, and now we have our outer terrain data. So let's go back over to our outer plot. Here it is. Let's go to the cog wheel for settings here, and let's scroll down. And now we got to fill out this stuff for our outer. Well, what was our outer resolution? Well, let me go to my spreadsheet. My outer was 4,500. So I'm going to put 4,500, 4,500. And what was my height? Well, let me see in here. My height was 167.304. 167.304. Detail oriented, right? Here we're going to do 4097. 2048 for the next field. We're going to leave this at 8 bits. Another 2048 here. And again, 2048. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to import our raw from our outer. Okay, again, that is in our train backup folder. So here's our outer. We're going to click that, flip vertically, double check everything here looks good, import. And now we should see our outer, which is way over there. Now, what we can do is we can always turn off our inner by going in the inspector and just disabling it. That way it disappears. And now we'll just have our outer out here. You can see there it is, our outer terrain. And if I go back here and I can turn my inner on as well, it's kind of bouncing off the top of there, on top of it. We still have a little bit of work to do, but things are starting to take shape, okay? Let's just leave our inner on now. Let's leave our outer on. And you can see in here, this asterisk means I have unsaved changes, so I'm going to come up here and say Save Scene. And now that is saved. So now we have an inner and outer terrain.